Great. All right, welcome to the October 14th, um, 2021 Chaos Common uh, Workgroup meeting. And so for those of you that are new to this work group, uh, welcome. We do have live transcript available. So if you down at the bottom of your Zoom channel, you see the live transcript button. And if that is um, something that you would like to use, it's there for you. So that's great. Um, if you could, it'd be great if you'd like, if you could add yourself to the minutes. So just type your name in there and maybe even tell us how you're doing. It's something we normally add. So like if it's a nice day or something like that. I'm getting rid of a really old printer. Something you're doing today, whatever it might be. You're not using that printer again? Do you want it? We were we kept it in the <laughs> lab. We were using it, then you need it and you took it yeah, from well, us. It's all yours. I can, I can take it back. <laughs> Yay. Okay. That was quick. I found, I, so I should add to my getting rid of an old printer and found, already found a new home. <laughs> yeah. I'll pick it up on Monday. Okay. Yep. Great. So you can, you can guess that Vinod and I are in the same city, <laughs> in the same, the same building. <laughs> All right. Um, so today, you know, I think the primary thing for today is to take a look at, at the common metrics. So um, as, as we may know, uh, we're getting towards the end of our release period. Kevin, I think you're looking to have these things kind of done by today slash tomorrow from each of the working groups so we can get the metrics published on the web page. So that's cool. And um, so we need to kind of take a look at the metrics that the common working group has been developing over the course of the last uh, six months and just see if there's any last comments and just one final push um, to make sure that we're done in that regard. So I, honestly, I think that's going to be a, the, the majority of the work that we do today. All right, so let's go ahead and do that then. I will put in to the minutes or the chat um, GitHub. And I'll, I'll share my screen as well, but let me just get this in the chat. So here's the Chaos Common um, Working Group Repository. All right, so um, let's, why don't we go ahead and take a look? So just, again, we have a series of metrics that we are releasing. Um, it looks like we have two, two, four, six, seven metrics that we're releasing out of common as tagged by this label. All right, so let's take a look here. And we can also take a look at our minutes. So let's take a look. I'm going from last week's minutes. Let's take a look at program language distribution. So it looked like, I think from last time, There was, Vinod, you were going to resolve a couple issues here. Do you know if you had a chance to take a look at that? No, I have not looked at it. I need to finish my action items. So. Okay. Could we, could you maybe spend just a little bit of time today, like even yep. during this meeting, if that's possible? Yep. yep. Let me do that. Because then we can kind of sign off on this. Yep. I'm okay. doing it right now. Okay, thank you. Um, and maybe you'll be, I see you had another action item around technical forks. So, so I'll speak slowly as we go through collaboration <laughs> platform activity. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like, a, yeah. So, okay. so what I'll do is like, I, I know I have these two action items, whatever, uh, I, I know them exactly. So I'll try to resolve them by today. That is okay. why. That would be today. great. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Hi, Salona. Good. Hi, Elizabeth, could you drop the minutes back in the chat for Salona? All right. Um, collaboration platform activity. Let's go back and take a look at that one. Kevin, you had an action item here. I don't know if you're on right now. 
Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, do you know if you had a chance to take a look at those? Looks like an image naming thing. Or not. I have not. I do not remember that action item at all. You know what? Our last meeting uh, was a month ago. Okay. Because uh, of, because of OSSNA. So I know I know we discussed the general naming conventions for, and I, I don't know if that was here or elsewhere. It was here. The, uh, we did talk. Uh, about it here. Yeah. The the naming convention that we landed on for images is weird. Uh, and I think that's I think that's something we need to go back and uh, reevaluate. Uh, okay. Do you want to make this change now, or is it okay to kind of? I do not want to make this change now because I'm I'm actually gonna I have to go through this weekend and change every relative link. I to saw that absolute okay. links. Uh, so, although I suppose since I'm making that change anyway, I could. Uh, well. I could I could do that at the you're same in time. there. Yeah. I don't, I, just, I don't know if that adds a ton more work or uh Well, uh, let's just hold I say to suggest let's just hold off on this because okay. because this is something that is going to need to be done across all metrics. You know what I mean? Yep. So the the collaboration platform activity metric does need to be edited. Okay. So there are a few. If if you look at the uh, the issues, yep. Uh, Ray Ray was kind enough to uh, uh, for pull out a few items. items. Yeah. Yep. So, do we want to take a look at these right now? There were also a couple of typos that I noticed in that. So I don't know if anybody grabbed those or not. Okay. I, I don't think anyone has added it yet. So. All right, well, let's take a look at what it is. Let's see what Ray had said. I assume formatting issues will be fixed. Um, so aggregators, it looks like it should be a list in addition to raw numbers. Uh, I guess I've addressed the Ray's formatting comments when I was reviewing them. Just take a look at it. I, I think I've addressed Ray's comments when I was reviewing the metric, like quality checkers. You addressed it by making an edit? Yes. You edited the uh, metric. Uh, I just bulleted it properly so that it looks a uh, bulleted point. Oh, excellent. That looks like it's taken care of right there. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Thank you. They were not initially. So when I was doing the quality check, I edited it at that time. Just a formatting. OK, so that is, have you addressed everything else in here? Raw just numbers? Formatting. Uh, raw number was uh, addressed. What was what was that? What was the raw number comment? It was like all the lines were as a one line rather than a separate uh, bullet points for all of the okay. aggregators or everything. Yeah, that happens if you don't put the double space after. Uh, yeah. Okay. After the word, when you do a new line. Collaboration tools we're considering. So, so collaboration platforms. What is this? So what about this next comment from him? I think he just wants us to say, for example, GitHub is a collaboration platform. Slack is a collaboration platform. Slack. So like, could somebody just do like an EG after this? I'm talking about like, uh, all right, well, look at me. I can do it. <laughs> uh, EG, um, GitHub. Slack. Um. I suppose email. That's all I got. Get up in Slack. <laughs> all right. I think that that kind of sums up the main three, right? Okay. Wait. Or type, you... Types in general, not the main three platforms. Yeah, we but... may as well go ahead and take care of a few things here. Yeah. Finally, how do we measure message activities in code management platforms? I suppose we could include GitLab. Um, mm -hmm. 
Where's which section is he talking about? Well, I, I was just oh my gosh. Okay. Um, finally, how do we measure message activities in code management platforms? Uh, should we should we just pull out those two bullets he has and see if we can? Oops. Yeah, just delete it, and then we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Wait, what am I deleting? Uh, so no, I was kidding. Don't no, I, sometimes deleting is the <laughs> it's the best <laughs> option. <laughs> uh, More words is not always better. Anyway, that one is that one is needed though because that's based that code management platforms is uh that's github yeah so, so how do we measure uh so maybe maybe copy part of his his sent so yeah the, the gitlab do an eg gitlab or github gitlab there where uh in the the bit where we're talking about code management where was that at? yeah right, right there. yes yeah we're right there should i call these Digital collabor. Oh no. Okay, never mind. I think the heart of his question is, what is a message? Because the next sentence, this metric is a measure of where. Like, like what are we talking what about? What does a message mean? Right, and the answer, and the answer is correct. Uh, comments in issues and PRs is the primary way that we would look at this. So, do you have thoughts on where we could include that? Uh, so in the aggregators, we have number of comments. So maybe uh, there we could, uh, yeah, yeah, on issues and yeah, merge requests. Okay. Sorry, change requests. Change requests. Okay. Cool. All right. Good. That probably addresses Ray's. Thank you everybody for these comments. This is great just to do this. Okay, so let's take a look at Yahoo's. Could we add more items under aggregators? Uh, so I think what he's getting at there is the contribution attribution metric. Uh, so he wants to know if the contributions are uh, represented by organizations or independent contributors. So I think we could probably, uh, I don't think that's uh, an, is that an aggregator or is that a uh, filter? Let me type it out first. So contributions, contributions. Contribution attributions is the metric. So many EGs this time. Mm -hmm. People or organizations, right? Yep. So then the question is, where does it go? Uh, do we do we have filters in here anywhere? We no, don't. No, okay. I don't even. I don't even recognize aggregators. Yeah, I don't. We don't usually use aggregators. I think we prefer filters. Yeah, I'm going to change that. I don't even think aggregators. Could you take a look at the template really fast? Is aggregators even a heading? Uh, yes. So oh, it is. Aggregators oh, okay. and filters are are headings that are used by uh, we've we've used them in evolution before, and uh, I think they may exist in risk as well. Okay. However, I think there's a there's kind of a subtle distinction between what an aggregator is and what a filter is, and I think most working groups are using filters. I think so too. I, per my point uh, of saying, does this even exist? <laughs> Yes, I, heading. I'm more comfortable with filter there. Okay. So, do people have a strong objection to that, or any objection? Even <laughs> it doesn't have to be a strong one. All right. Okay. And Good. can you remove the S from contributions attributions? Oh yeah. Yeah. So. 
And then Daniel's name is spelled wrong. Is it I Z Z? Z? Yeah. Uh, should we add Ray to the list? And uh, well, remember it's the opt-in thing. Oh, fair. Vinod, do you want to be on that list? Uh, which one is it? Uh, doing yeah, no, it's a contributor <laughs> for for this metric, just because you had made some updates to it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Anybody else? The, on the call? On, uh, the yeah, I know. Fixing. No, that's yeah. cool. All right, good. Uh, should we link? Well, and maybe maybe this is for later. Uh, ideally, we should link to defined metrics. Uh, and since since contribution attribution is a filter, we should link to that. Let's just do it. Uh, you know what I mean? While we're here. Yeah. So let me stop my share for a second. Um, uh, you want to link to the website? Yeah. I just have to, I don't know, maybe it's Thursday. I can give you the link if you'd like. Oh, I got it. <laughs> it's a really easy link. <laughs> Uh, at contribution attribute. Oh, this is another one that's under review too. So, okay. So coming back here, I'm going to share my screen again. Um, so it's, is it parentheses or square? square. Oops. All right, cool. And then I don't know that we have to do this now, but I know we, we've talked about revisiting these these metrics in the next release. Yeah. And I think part of that audit, I think, is going to be going through and like the that one filter we have is number of people. Like, what is that? Is that a metric? That might be a metric. Uh, is that number of contributors? That might be number of contributors. Uh, I, yeah. I think we need to kind of audit that and make sure that we're using similar language across work groups and and very specifically linking to linking to uh, metrics. So, but I, I don't think we should do that now. Cool. So, all right, somebody, somebody do the merge thing. Uh, don't merge my request. I'm still editing that. No. Okay. All right. Uh, where are you at? Pull request. Which one? Uh, you merged. All right. Let's go back. Thank you, everybody, for that. Like I said, I think this is our this meeting today is really just meant to go through uh these metrics if we have any changes to them so okay. this one what was we were just on this one which which one were we just on collaboration platform yeah uh, call that done once okay. it's merged i am in the translation repository right now I am oh yeah thank you the chinese label uh, so yeah just so everybody knows too is kind of following along every time we make any change to a metric so we have a the metric is um is what we were just working on and all of our metrics are also with this round this is our first time being translated into chinese and so kevin is also including um kind of a a note that signals that the metric that we just worked on has some changes that need to be uh, translated into chinese so that's what's kevin that's that is what kevin is doing at the moment all right and um do you the nod, do you need me to do that or uh, any metrics that you're doing? Are you one? Let me finish my, uh, the one I'm doing, then I'll create a Chinese request for updating. Okay, thank you guys. So we're doing a couple things in parallel here. Um, so the the clones metric is done. We had no additional comments on it. 
So I'm calling that one done with an exclamation mark. Bot activity. Image does not follow naming convention. Kevin again, that's what this is going on here. Um, so this item will be deferred. Did I spell that right? Nope. <laughs> deferred. Two R's. Not R. Oh, <laughs> I know there was two two of something yeah. somewhere. <laughs> uh, we did for... Should I remove the uh, tag, uh, the release tag from oh, the? Oh yeah, yeah. We can. I we can maybe. You could do that probably on every one of them, and I think it's okay just to commit so, that directly. Okay. This is okay. a good. This is a good task for the operations team when we when we, yeah. when we meet this uh the the image the image folder structure and image naming is is something that's going to have to happen across the board uh so yeah so maybe we can bring this up at the whenever we have an operations meeting and i don't know do we have one of those do we have that no i just started this or? i just started the slack channel on that one okay uh all right so so let's let's i'm sorry i'm kind of bouncing around here a little bit um, so bot activity, let's do take a look at that. See if there is any comment on it. There is. So Lucas has some comments on bot activity. Let me go to this. I'm done there. Done there. All right, bot activity. So first comment is from Yahui. Demonstrate increase in new contributors. Oh, these should be. Uh, time to first response is a metric. Yeah, but this, I think his point was object. These should be, you know. Oh, bullet points? Yeah. yeah. Is there a fast way or faster way to do this? I'm really, mm, mark down. I don't think so. Really good at like, all those like hold the left arrow and shift at the same time and hit enter. You know what I'm talking about? And it like does all the. Keyboard. If you were working in Atom or uh, or uh, then yes, there would be a shortcut to do that, I believe. But uh, I don't That's think really there good. is in uh, in GitHub uh, Markdown in the browser. So. Uh, and then in in the description there is actually so we do mention uh, is that time to first response uh, that should be linked out. All right, um, in the des description, is that what you said? Yeah, I think if there's uh, time to first response. The T is capitalized. Or no. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's in the objective. So time to first response right there. That's a metric. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. And and all right. Cool. What is that? Um, oh, so it's provide filter on things like, and then, so it demonstrates increase in new contributors, CL bot activity, and it provides a filter on things like. Where are you? So in in objectives, uh, I don't. That's that shouldn't be just a uh -oh. bulleted list. That should be a little bit different. Uh, How do I double indent? Uh, <laughs> that would be my first attempt. <laughs> how about if you, uh, so 
take provide a filter on things like and bold it and put a colon there. Uh, I think it might be uh, two spaces. I don't remember now. Right. I can look. Uh, however, I'm not sure. So when that gets converted to HTML, I'm not sure it happens. So uh, no. maybe before the bullet. Okay. I see what you're saying, on Kevin. Yeah, I think you're better off <laughs> just using bullet. the bold the bold header to uh, separate it. Okay. And you can just have maybe. So maybe the maybe the those first two bullets can be turned into a sentence and then provide filter on things like can be the the list. However, I would say if we're saying provide filter on things like, shouldn't that be under filter? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's four spaces. Four. And then eight and then twelve. Well, that's a lot. I mean, from the beginning, yeah. <laughs> you put it in front of the star. <laughs> Sorry, I was typing it. I didn't. I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm not a. I'm not a fan of this subjective section. So half the stuff. Half the stuff in there is filters that should be down below. Uh, demonstrate an increase in new contributors. I believe that's an objective. Uh, Show CLA bot activity is an objective. So the bot, uh, let's do this. The bot, I have just, my typing is so bad. <laughs> As I say that. Like T I V I T metric. <laughs> I play, I have a band aid on my finger, just so you all know. <laughs> uh, the bot activity metric help helps um, differentiate differentiate um, project activity between humans, people, yeah. people and automated. Um, Automated bots. Or applications, maybe. You know, I'm just gonna whatever whatever I type, I'm just gonna leave it. I decide from now on. <laughs> E.g. bots. In doing so, um, um People, you, people, community managers. Can better, wow, better um, show increases in new new contributors um, or can better um, not show maybe can better separate increases in new contributors CLA bot activity and then for the provide a filter on things like rather than say filter Wait, hold on I'm trying to write a sentence I can't okay. Um, in doing so, community managers can better separate increases in com new contributors, CLA bot activity, or anything. And is there an and here? Bot activity. So, in doing so, is this the primary? Uh, it's really just to help separate these. Like okay. It's just separate separate out bots. Uh, it helps differentiate between project activity between people and automated applications. And doing so, community managers can separate such things as increases in new contributors, uh, bot activity. Oh, and the one of the other one of the big things is the access control. 
What uh, is this? So uh, bots are often used to provide elevated uh, uh, like that. elevated access to individuals who do not have admin rights. OK. Uh, so then I can get rid of that. And I can take these. Not that actually, actually, I would leave these. However, I would change the provide filter to say something to the effect of this metric may inform uh, like that. Yeah, more like that. Could I I think I I'm provide maybe this metric may provide additional context for uh, project activities like or could I misspell every word or maybe just additional context for yeah things like actually I don't need things like yeah okay yeah that that feels better uh oh and look uh the understand project access so maybe change I, I suppose that that last bit that i gave you on that sentence is actually in the down below so we could either yeah we could either delete it or yeah all right great uh and then uh so where's the dei in that objective by the way um well, it's not that every metric has to have it. Okay. Is there is there DEI here? Um, it wasn't in the original. I don't know if that's our responsibility in a final review to add it. You know what I mean? Okay. So, I, I mean, if the team who put the metric together over six months had not included it. Okay. I don't know if it's the final review to add it. So that is part of our checklist on uh, on sending it to review. Uh, content quality, if any DEI uses of the metric are included in objectives. Yeah, and there wasn't from the team. I mean, it was an if. Okay. All right. Um, uh, amen to the issues five general filters have a formatting problem. It's all fixed. Oh, looks like Lucas already <laughs> submitted a PR to fix it. Um, the implementation section will benefit for more detail. Also, as an issue of polish, I wonder whether the measurement or analysis techniques item is a leftover placeholder. Oh, probably he's thinking this is not actually an implementation thing. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, probably not helpful. Yeah. I think those are fine, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so updating the metric. Yes. Based on community feedback. Thank you. All right, and I will do this and do that. But not, I merged your. Uh request thank you okay so the bot activity is done once that's merged and the programming language is also done kevin has merged it okay have so you have you adjusted have you added that to the the language repository yet the translation mm -hmm. repository no i'm doing it now okay done uh, Kevin, this might 
break the link to the website. I don't know because we yeah, have renamed the file. Yep, it'll break. Yeah, so oh. you need to look at that. Oh yeah, I'll look at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna plat that one's done. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. Focus area renaming. I guess that's done. Um, event locations. Done. I'll take a look, but it says it's done. We might actually, oh my gosh, we might actually finish. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, that's not what I wanted either. <laughs> I was right there. I like went in a giant circle. Um, all right, everything's checked off. I'm going to call that one done. And then we had one last one. Uh, in the technical fork, we had to add the contributor's name and we agreed that we'll copy the same from the uh, clones. So I'm ready to do it. Like there are other people who have worked on the technical fork. I'm I not see. sure. Should we add them or not? I was not sure. We, as like I see Daniel has worked on the technical fork. So is this, and, let me ask a quick question. Is this metric done? Like outside of contributions? Are there any? Outside of the contribution, it is done. We just have to remove the tag and add the contribution. And because add it a, was reopened. Yeah, and the contributions separate. part down here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this metric was done in conjunction uh, or it was very connected to that other metric. So yeah, I would, yeah, I, I think it would be okay to just copy the contributor list from the other metric okay. and drop it on this one. Okay. So then Vinod, could you do that right now? If, yeah, if you're done with I, your other stuff? Yep. I'm do, I, I was just waiting for the confirmation and I was just Okay. That. So this one is, what is this one called? Technical fork. Technical fork. Yeah. Uh, should I do it directly or I create a, I need to create a merge? Let's just like, go ahead and make a, a PR on that one. Okay. Whoa, we did it. So, all right. So how many, how many metrics have, did we edit? One, two, three. Oh, edit. Edit. Yeah. Um, one, yeah. that one. Okay. Programming language distribution. Yeah, are you yep. double checking against translations? Yes. This one? Collaboration platform activity. Hold on a sec. I'm just uh, So language distribution. Okay. But on, can I can I just can I just yeah, do the language distribution? Go ahead, do it. I have, okay. I have yeah. I'm I'm right here, so yep. Just go <laughs> ahead, do it. Do it. Kevin, I'm just kind of I'm pausing. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Uh, I've created a pull request for the technical fork. Okay. Copy. Elizabeth, could you take a look at that for technical fork for the contributions? Yep. Okay. And what's the, the what's the next one? Okay, so programming language distribution is that what you just did, Kevin? Yep. Collaboration platform activity. Yep, we're good. Um, technical fork needs to be in there because we have a new header okay. called contributors. Okay. Again, what we're doing here is we're just going through the metrics that we have completed in the common working group and Kevin, I'm not showing it on the screen. Kevin is over in a repository, uh, called, uh, GitHub slash chaos slash translations, and he's updating issues in there. Well, here, let me just show you. Let me stop my share for a second. So GitHub chaos translations. I will share my screen. So Kevin is here. And so every time we create a new metric um, in the respective working group, over here in the chaos translations, 
repository. We have all of the new metrics that are being released here or have been released. And Kevin, if you notice, we've been working on collaboration platforms. He just tagged it again with a Chinese translation because we had a few edits there. And so our, our colleagues um, who are helping with the Chinese translations, thank you very much. Colleagues and friends, um, they're doing some, some translation work and same with language distribution. I'm also, I'm also adding a comment to it that it's been, that it's been edited yes. since the, uh, uh, yeah. So there you go. 21 minutes ago, Kevin just added that comment. And then in this case, Yahui is helping uh, translate, translate this to Chinese. So thanks, Yahui. All right. Um, technical fork. Did you do that one, Kevin? I uh, yes, I did do technical fork, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, clones, clones does not need anything. Okay. Bot activity needs to be redone okay. or re-looked at. So all Kevin does is he comes in here and he finds, is it still here? Oh, it's probably closed. Which one? That bot activity. Oh, no, no. So uh, all of them should still be open because none of them have been translated to Spanish. Okay. So until these are translated into Spanish, they they'll will stay open. They'll probably stay open. Yeah. Okay. And so bot activity is, um, looks like a new one. I didn't see it in here. Did you? Uh, yeah, I, I, oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. I just noticed that, um, these pull requests that are getting merged, they're getting merged into master. It looks like not main. Let's have you changed your, uh, your, your forked repo. I, I just merged Vinod's and oh. it says mm -hmm. there was like a message that said master is like ahead of, ahead of main. In the, in the in the like, sorry back in the common working group sorry. All right. So you do so you have to go to settings and you have to change your your repository to main as well because all of the all of the working group repositories have changed to main. So if you're if you forked it and you're I making am, oh like you okay. not you Elizabeth you oh, okay you like, Vinod or you me. Yeah, yeah. So go to okay. go to settings and then go to branches and then change your branch default to main. Uh, and should be an issue for Matt because he's editing directly in the uh, in main on the browser. Uh, okay. So Kevin, I think let's just wrap this up. So event locations, I don't think that needs to be done. I think that was okay. Okay. All right. So. Good. Yay. Thank you for the very efficient work. Everyone, that was great. Evan, can you guide me what I have to do in the settings? In yeah, go to settings there? and then on the left, you should have a branch. Branch should be there. And then when you pull up branch. Yeah. Uh, I see. Should, yeah, there should be a little pencil thing that you can click edit. And uh, and just type in main. Yeah. Okay. I have done it. So I need to do it for, for all my folks for the kill. Yeah, that's a lot of them. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we're good, everyone. Yep. Uh, I do have a question. Yeah. Um. When all these metrics are shipped, when does the next round start? When does I also it... noticed the, yeah, the next round, like the next set of metrics, when do we start working on new metrics after shipping? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can, I mean, we'll honestly start. So this working group will pick up in two weeks and we'll start then. And so we have, let me show you something real quickly here. I'll share it. I'm gonna put something in the chat. And you may or may not have seen this in the past. Oh, oops, sorry. I'm getting there. So have you seen, um, Perry, have you seen this spreadsheet before? No. 
Okay, well there. So this is a spreadsheet that we use to track. So you can see across the bottom, we have all of the different working groups, the DEI working group, risk, evolution, value, and common. And these like rows 14, 21, so on and so forth, those correspond, those are the, the um, focus, focus areas within each of the working groups. And so these are obviously just kind of based on what we have here with the color coding and the naming, the metrics that we have released, the ones that are currently under community review. We should recognize all those that we just talked about. And so what will happen in two weeks is we will kind of take a look at this list and see which of the metrics are probably candidates to continue to work on. So if you, you can see a few of them have kind of started like 33 and 34, but we just didn't have the capacity to finish those up in this round. I know that this is one occasional contributors or episodic contributors is one that we're working on right now. And the same will hold true for, say for the value working group, the evolution working group, the risk working group. So we'll start right away. Um, yeah, and one of the other things that we're going to be doing in the next round as well is all of the released metrics. So like 15 and 26 and 27, you know, within each working group, some of the metrics, it's kind of like, I don't know if you've ever read like a, a paper that you wrote years ago and you're like, oh, <laughs> like that paper needs to be updated a little yeah. bit. So we, we want to spend the next like six months kind of going back through the metrics that we have released already. And just kind of ask ourselves, like, is the narrative and the story within each metric still appropriate? Because we need to kind of treat these as, as living documents, not just something we released two years ago, and then we just never look at it again. So part of the next round is going to be revisiting our released metrics as well. Are we using, are we using consistent language, for yeah. example? We, uh, we had two full releases before, well, possibly three full releases before we even came to consensus on what to call pull requests so so how many, how many metrics are using uh are still using the, the old language the old language or 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 different language right their pull requests have four or five different names you could call them so yeah so hopefully does that answer your question perry <laughs> yeah it does okay cool thanks um all right great so we are at the end of our time, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Um, it's good to see everybody, and we will see other people on other things. Solona, if you have a second, I'd like to I could have a chat with you real quickly. Sure. All right. I don't know what your next meeting is.